Hey nail friends, it's Mia again, and we're going to do another set. So first we're going to use my new monomer from Risen Legacy. I really like it. Like I said on the last video, it really reminds me of the Young Nails monomer. It's a really good uh, liquid. But today we're going to use a new acrylic from Breeze Custom Nails, and I have her IG listed. It's in the shade or color Shine. So like shine like the sun, or even like gold so it's a really pretty glitter gold and I was trying to figure out how can I use this without it just being an all gold set so I was thinking about colors that complement gold and you know what goes good with gold and I kept thinking and I went through my acrylic collection and found a beautiful beautiful peach color so we're gonna use those two colors to make this set today the set, as you see from the thumbnail, is very just, I would say summer and spring. Very bright and cheery. Um, so that ring finger, we're going to do that in all gold. So we're going to keep that simple. So I'm just applying the color and we're using coffin tips. You guys know I love a coffin tip. This is a medium length, so it's not too long, not too short. And I have very short fingers, as you can tell. I'm only 4'11". So I have very tiny fingers. So it looks, I like long nails, like in pictures, but they're not practical for me. So <laughs> I do long nails every now and again, like when I'm playing around, but I don't think I could actually like really move around in life with long nails. I commend any woman who can do it. You're awesome. So yeah, we're using this beautiful peach blossom color from iGel Beauty. It's a DD21, and it's so pretty. It reminds me, I don't know why, it reminds me of like a like soft wedding color. Like I could see bridesmaid gowns in this color. It's just so pretty. So we're using that on the pinky nail, and we're gonna do that all over. And guys, I'm really trying to work on staying in frame. You guys, see, <laughs> I'm always talking to myself like, stay in frame, Mia. I wish I could set up, I see like, you know, the big nail channels and they have like a monitor. So while they're doing their nails, they can see up on the monitor that they're in frame. Like one day I'll get there, but I wish I had that like handy so I can always see, you know, if I'm in frame. So yeah, I'm trying y'all. That color is so pretty. It really is. And I really like eye gel um, beauty acrylics. Well, the one, and I like that they're two in one. So if you're a dip girl, you can use them as dip. If you're acrylic, you can use them as acrylic. Um, I would say I like the ones, um, you, cause you will have a few that marble, but pay attention on their website. They'll have some that'll say recommended for dip only or it'll yeah it'll say recommended for dip only and then the ones that don't have that message it'll just say um you know two and one or whatever so just be mindful of that and then even some that i bought that didn't have that message and i think because i bought them before they started adding that message some of them still marble so I, I'm still gonna use them you can just you know use them different ways and maybe use them in a marble set or use them as you know as a dip so yeah so on this middle finger I'm going to place a little bit of that peach blossom to do a smile line and if you saw one of my other videos I did the smile line manually or just shaped it and filed it but I just got this new Smile Line French Tip Cutter. So we're gonna use that today. I think I could have applied this a lot smoother, but yeah, you live and you learn. So this is all practice, to be honest with you. So I'm just adding it on and we're gonna use that cutter. And when you use that cutter and you're trying to do a smile line, you really need to see what you're doing. And like I said, it's hard to stay in frame and do something like this as well on your own, on yourself. I think if I was doing it on someone else, it would be easy for me to see it and stay in frame. But on myself, I just could not see what I was doing. But I really love how that golden peach looks together. It's so pretty. So yeah, we're gonna use the cutter 
and I'm like looking at it trying to see what number I think I'm gonna be using seven did I use seven or is that six yeah we're using six so it's really easy right so you just you know you got to do it while your acrylic is not wet wet but it's 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 starting to form it's starting to mold up but it's not too hard it's like that putty that putty texture so yeah it was really simple so we just cut it and i'm just making sure i smooth out the top part of that nail and i think i do that off camera i'm just letting it dry out and so this nail the pointer nail i'm going to put the acrylic all over or the peach all over and this nail i will tell you guys i was struggling i don't know if i got rusty over the weekend i don't know i was like oh my god mia the application for this finger was horrible but thank god for filing that's all i can say is thank god we have files and e-files because that saved me because the, the application was horrible i was not on it today but we definitely cleaned it up you would have never known getting that side of that cuticle just trying to clean it up Oh yeah, and you probably already saw, I've already done my thumbnail off camera because I was really just like playing with the acrylic, the peach and the gold. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do the rest of my fingers. So that's when I turned on the camera. But anyway, um, so now we're putting up the peach. Now we need to fill in the, uh, the French tip. So we're going to use the gold to fill that in. And the good thing about, um, about the French tip is you don't need... A lot of acrylic you're just covering up the the actual tip what's going to fill in or, or provide strength to the nail is going to be the clear acrylic so we're going to use young nails uh, core clear today so I'm just making sure I'm getting the size of that French tip And on the pointer finger, I'm just doing a light glitter fade, nothing too much, just at the tip. And I'm going to gently pat my brush down to let the glitter, um, the light glitter flakes ombre down on the nail. I didn't want to make the nail too bulky. And I clean up my size to prevent bulkiness of the nail. And then with doing that, it'll save you time on filing. All right, and on that pinky nail, we're going to just cover the entire nail. And what I like about this acrylic is that you can still see through it. It's a clear base, so it's a, a gold glitter with a clear base. So you can layer it on different colors. So I really like that. So now we're using the clear to build up strength and we're going to put that on all four of the nails. Thank you. 
All right, so here are all my nails. I file off camera per usual because I need to see what I'm doing. So we're going to use this Young Nails. Um, what are these? They're little gel paints. I believe it's in the color, oh my goodness, I think Aurora or Aura. I'll put it down below. But um, what we're doing is tracing out the side of the nail. So we're doing the sides, the top, and then the actual smile line just to make it even more crisp with that pretty gold color. So I'm trying to like work on my line work and I think this is good for beginners to, you know, make sure you get a good steady hand and a good brush. I wanna get a new brush cause this brush has been through it. And trying to do this and stay in frame. Okay, so we're gonna clean that up and we put it in the lamp for what, at least 60 seconds, just to, uh, you know, make sure it's there and it's not gonna move. So now I'm pulling out my builder gel and these really nice charms from chicknails.net. They're um, little diamond hearts with the gold accent around them and I thought these charms are, would be perfect for this set and I just got them in the mail this week so i was like this is perfect timing because i needed a charm like that it's simple but it still brings you know some cute bling to the nail without doing too much so i really like this set it's just very girly and, and elegant and i like a lot of girly sets as you can tell but yeah it's really pretty so i'm just making sure it's in the center we put it in the lamp i let that sit in the lamp for uh 60 seconds as well and now we're using my one of my favorite top coats uh, from poochie's nails and we're just i'm um, putting it on all the nails and we are done you know this was a um, it's a simple set i would say it's simple especially with having that cutter i now i want to go get some different shapes of cutters so i can get used to using them and I think what I need to do to work on for my own, um, you know, nail knowledge is that I don't need that much uh, acrylic to do the French set. But yeah, I love the set. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.